Okay, we are to the. This is the Global Mail paper. Goes back to Thursday, July twenty first, twenty sixteen. It has an article that says um, number of teens with psychological distress rising at alarming rate. Um, um, when you are flipping to the other page, it begins to say it has nothing to do with the illicit drugs. As a matter of fact, the number is going because people are being educated and understanding that illicit drugs are causing harm to people, so they're not interested. Uh, insecurity. Insecurity is a big factor. Um, that's a, that's what you're saying. It like. Um, one of the things there's back in nineties when I was in Ontario, um, politicians were advocating to create job insecurity, not job security. So you don't have assurance that you wake up one day and like you, like every day you could go to work, come home, everything is looking good and peachy, but you're waking up in the morning with total insecurity um, when I was working in some places I noticed and I'm not saying that it has been practiced by everybody and everybody is doing it but most places that I work this is how it was like um, the manager or someone supervisor was coming and teaching the other manager that they were beneath them in a high IRQ rank that's what I mean and um, show them the skills how to manipulate the other staff it was exactly C. Wright Mill's book, the white col color book. It is exactly like that. And what happens when a child sees mom and dad, or whatever is the that family dynamic? Two men are living together, or two women are living together. Like um, it's not always man and wife. Whatever works over there for people, whatever they like. So we are learning these new concepts, LGBTQ, uh, and I have respect for that community, so I'm not excluding them, I'm including them. Uh, and their children, they see mom and dad are struggling like to pay the rent. Uh, they see parents don't have job security. Uh, when I was in Iran, um, I saw war, I saw revolution. Um, and one day my mom asked me a question and I said, so what's the point I'm going to go to the war and I will die? Um, it was a sense of insecurity was taking place. And it is the same thing. Yeah, people are seeing terrorism. And our media is like run by government. It's a state-run media. It doesn't matter you read the Globe and Mail or you read National Post. These are all owned by the same people. And they are propagating one agenda. It's not like a free thinking or they're doing anything that you begin to say, wow, that's what's happening. The reason I read it because I need to know at least to have some understanding of what is happening in my world, to have some glimpse of reality about life. So these are the factors. And we could see politics and psychology are very related. That's what I'm really getting at. If um, psychology is becoming really important, in our world. It is very sad. We need to stop this war on terror and terrorism. Um, honestly, terrorism will come to an end if the Western politicians begin to stop their diabolic plans that they have. Like, um, we all have heard um, ISIS was f uh, fighting with the head of the state of Syria, then all of a sudden the Reuters newspaper reveals uh, a revelation that the U.S. itself is providing the means to go into the war with the head of the state of Syria. So all these little things need to come to an end and those people that huffing and puffing, they will stop. Cheers.